Is it possible to distinguish between the flakes generated by alternate and alternating strategies? In order to make a bifacial reduction, two ways of napping methods have traditionally been recommended, alternate and alternating. Usually, the cores recovered at archaeological sites are exhausted and we cannot know which type of napping method was employed in the initial phase of blank reduction. The study of cortical flakes can help us to identify some products that can be related with specific reduction methods. The alternate strategy consists in removing flakes first from one surface, thus producing first sequence flakes, and then from the other surface, generating second sequence flakes. Contrastingly, the alternating method implies the systematic use of the last removal as a platform for each successive extraction on the opposite surface, creating a continuous sequence.